gold and silver both recovered from the lows from where it is started with the week that is 2146 and 2495 levels we have seen a stronger recovery and both have come to the resistance levels which are stronger resistance for gold and silver which 2520 and 2162 what to expect now from gold and silver with the us session we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day. Those who watched the first update must have already profited. The buy call was at 2154 with the resistance at around 2157.60 for gold. Now what to expect? Let's see. First gold followed with silver. Watch this. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications. And do like, share and comment. This is always a great motivation. Also join the free telegram channel for live market updates. And join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. See gold now drop retracement drop retracement and this is the second retracement cycle which is undergoing through and as i have mentioned it is only to be treated for a reversal only and only if first it has to break beyond 2170 and then 2180 levels if these two levels are taken then we can say that gold is reversing else we will not treat this as a reversal this is still under trading in this bearish channel and is under retracement look at the moving averages these are trading with divergence and these are still staying bearish a stock ISTIC has come to overbought levels on the early charts. Look at Magdi. Magdi is also trading with divergence and it is looking bullish, looking upwards. RSI rising, again a good sign for the bulls. Coming to 2 hour, look at the 2 hour charts after forming the bottom, reversal sign and 3 greener candles in succession here. Now this is certainly a resistance zone which it needs to break. See prices are divergent here from the moving average. It is converged towards the 2050 period moving average and the median of the Bollinger Bands and definitely it is getting a little resistance at around these levels. If you look at a stock ISIC, this is rising. The MACD is also trying to trade bearish and trying to converge crossover. Right now it has not yet crossed over. RSI rising, good sign for the bulls on RSI. Coming to the 3R, on the 3R charts, this is the second bullish candle here after this reversal sign and it, it has erased all the gains, all the losses from here. Now it is trading in the positive territory from where it is closed last week that is 2155. It has turned, the weekly candle must have turned greener here. And see what it has done, it was trading with divergence from the 20 period. It is converged towards the 20 period and at best I will look forward to the median of the Bollinger Bands that is 2162. So this is the zone where we find maximum resistance for gold here. Also remember, two greener candles increases the chance of a third greener candle as well. Thus we have to watch it more carefully. Also look at this, the retracement is gradual. While the rise is a little vertical, certainly suggests a little bullishness. A stochastic rising from the oversold levels and MACD is also trying to converge, though it is bearish as of now. RSI is rising. Coming to 4R, likewise on the 4R charts, second greener candle it has achieved the 20 period moving average one must look at the uh, moving averages here this is narrowed and these are still bullish but have narrowed it started to converge though not it crossed over a stock ISIC rising from the oversold MACD bearish trying to converge RSI is rising coming to daily if you look at the daily chart see one thing look at the divergence of the price from the moving average 20 period moving average sitting at around 21 20 21 25 zone this is all also a greater support zone and an achievable level for gold so if you see trading below 2140 that is the point of time we can say a stronger drop can be expected now where to sell i will only recommend you to sell if it breaks below 2150 level that is a great support and below 2150 is where we can look forward to a further drop towards 2145 and in fact uh, 2145 2140 and then i will look forward to 2130 levels also Right now what it has done, it has formed lower lows and it is looking forward to lower highs. Lower highs means it can try to approach towards 2165-67. So yes, a pos buy position here can be taken at around 2167. Uh, but yes, that is a little far above that you can buy here at 2162.5 expected to move towards 66-67 zone. That is going to be the first resistance zone. And if it breaks beyond 2170, that is a sign of a reversal. And yes, possibly we can take a sell entry earlier than 2150 itself. Look at the stock. I think this is hitting the bottom and MACD is trying to cross over for it. Now, this is an important sign because see gold stayed with divergence and bullishness for long and uh, a red candle today, which possibly may appear, which means prices still may reverse. Thus, we need to watch out more carefully. It can still reverse and continue to trade bearish. So because if it trade yields a bearish candle today, possibly that will be a reversal sign for tomorrow where it can continue to trade bearish towards 21. 
So considering this, before I give you the trading levels and strategy, if you want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my 30th mentorship batch starting first week of April. Register yourself now. Reach out to me for details. In this mentorship batch, we teach you how to find profitable trades with ease and how to trade profitably. These two things we combine in a single three weeks batch and definitely it will add a lot much of meaning to your trading decisions. Do join this. And yes, if you just want to trade as per the signals, you can be part of my signals channel on Telegram. So write an email or ping me on Telegram for your queries related to the services. Now, yes, many of you have also asked me to recommend a broker which is safe, secure, available worldwide and which offers a safe free account with the lowest spreads. You can find the recommended broker link in the channel and video description. If you join through the link, you'll get lowest spreads. Do join this. Now, considering this, we have seen the charts and indicators. Looking at this, I will recommend you to buy here at 2162.5, but then be careful at around 2166.67, first resistance, then 2171.5. The second one, beyond that, uh, if it breaks beyond 2171.572 levels, we can look forward to a good rise. It can take the prices towards 21. 80 chances of which appears to be less i will be looking forward to a reversal only thing is at what point it may try to reverse we can look forward to if it moves towards 2166 67 ideally that should be the point from where it may try to reverse and come back and close at around 21 54 55 so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver on the early charts taking the support from the 50 period moving average has started to rise it has come to the resistance level here at 2520 2525 now again if you see silver above 2525 we can expect it to rise towards 2550 if you look at the waves here as i shared earlier this was the retracement rise first wave and this second wave could lead to higher prices how high it can fly See, if it stays above 2540 we can look forward to 2560 2575 zone here the stock is stick rising to the overbought MACD trying to cross over for a buy. RSI is rising here. Coming to two on the two hour charts, likewise, price is retracing and rising here. First bullish candle on the two hour charts. And I will wait for the next candle when it starts. And if it stays above 2525, we can again stay bullish in silver, looking towards 2540, 2560, and 75 levels. The stock is stick rising, MACD is very really trying to converge. RSI is looking upwards, staying bullish. Coming to three hour charts, likewise, on the three hour charts, see up. Uh, Taking the support from the 20 period moving average here, first wave, second wave, and it appears it is going to deliver higher highs here. Be watchful. We may look forward to a rise if it stays above 25, 25, then 25, 40 levels. More bullishness is going to be seen. The stock is rising. MACD is bearish, trying to converge a bit. RSI is rising. Coming to 4R. Look at the 4-hour chart, similar observation, nothing different. Again, trying to stay bullish. Second greener candle, uh, it is trying to deliver. The stock I stick here is rising as well. MACD is trying to converge. It is though bearish. RSI is looking bullish. Coming to daily. On the daily chart, the candle has turned green. But still, I will be watchful. Why? Because see the divergence of the price from the moving average. Though it is trading in this bullish channel, the bottom of the channel is also now right now station and position at around 24.50-60 zone. And thus, if you see silver trading below 25.10 levels, you can sell here. If you see uh, it is staying below 24.95, that is the point where you can say 24.80, the next support and below 24.80 is where sharper drop can be seen. So 25.10, which was the uh, possible resistance level now is going to be the support. And thus, when you see the higher prices, in silver below 2510 you can initiate a selling entry here and expect it to move downwards and yes below 2510 we have to be very very careful at 2495 and 2480 only and only if it breaks below these two levels we can say it is turning bearish else it is not to be treated bearish on the upside i will recommend you to buy only and only if you see the lower price is above 2525 you can buy there and expect it to move towards 2540 2545 levels the first resistance then 2560 the next and then i will look forward to 257580 zone that is going to be the most critical resistance beyond which sky is the limit we are looking forward to 2620 and plus plus levels in this week itself so take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge and signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the services write an email or ping me on telegram and do watch the first update daily with the asia and europe session it adds to lot much of meaning to your trading decisions thank you have a great profitable trading day ahead thank